Today we're gonna take a look at Moho 13.5 and what it can offer to all animators out there. Whether you are an OG Moho user or just on the fence about jumping in. In this video, we're gonna give you all the information you need to make an informed decision about whether this is gonna be for you or not. First of all, let's start with the basics. Moho, formerly known as Anime Studio, is an all-in-one, powerful vector-based 2D animation software that provides professionals and hobbyists alike with a powerful and easy-to-use animation and rigging toolset. It allows everyone to create characters directly in Moho, and it combines the most powerful animation technology with the state-of-the-art professional animation tools. Using these tools, you'll be able to draw, rig, and animate anything. You can use the vector tools, or you can even import images or Photoshop files and keep the link a layer structure, which makes Moho an extremely flexible software. This new version introduced a lot of new features, but most notably the new Vitruvian bones, new improved quad meshes, and the new exciting wind dynamics which allows you to easily add wind to your shots in addition to a slew of workflow enhancing improvements and bug fixes. Some of the minor new features are the ability to change numeric input fields by dragging the mouse on them to change the value and it previously only worked with the right mouse button. But now you can drag both the left and the right mouse buttons to change the value, but you will still have the option to click over the value to change it manually. Moho 13.5 introduced improvements to copy and paste deep keyframes. Now in the new empty channel at the selected keyframes, we'll use the default interpolation for the newly generated keys. And you can now change the thickness of the bones in your workspace to make them less intrusive. Now the thickness of the bones, size of pin bones and other elements are related to the workspace scale. Moho's best features is probably smart bones. It is a revolutionary way of making characters behave exactly the way you want by using them as control levelers to store all kinds of behaviors such as facial expressions, head and body turn, or any type of animation you can think of. Smart Bones is a powerful way to really speed up your animation workflow. Also, one of the most exciting new features in this version is something called Vitruvian Bones. It is a new way to rig your character by allowing you to easily switch between different sets of bones, content, or artwork. Its goal is to have rigs and setups that can work similarly to traditional animation by easily achieving foreshortening effects. So, for example, you can have multiple limbs or multiple body parts and you can switch between them at will, depending on the use case. Moho also has an image distortion tool to animate your images and artwork using distortion and perspective quad meshes. And with the new release, you have now even more powerful and easier to use automatic quad meshes. This will allow you to animate your artwork in true perspective view. You can also create a grid for all characters by combining both triangles and quads, making them move in 3D space. This way, you can easily bring your illustrations, pictures, and artwork to life. On the Dynamics side, there is Bone and Wind Dynamics. The Bone Dynamics work similar to the Wind in the sense that they allow to automatically control the behavior of any bone by interpolating the movement automatically from the rest of the rig. The bones will react to the movement automatically without animating them one by one manually. This is really useful for animating characters' hair or making clothing articles that react accurately to the character's movement. With Bone Dynamics, you have three values. Torque Force, Spring Force, and Damping Force. And to keep it simple, Torque Force is how much the bone will rotate, the Spring Force is how much it will bounce, and the Damping Force represents how long the bone will keep moving after inheriting both the Torque and Spring Forces. Another feature is you can adjust these values in real time, so if you open the Bone Constraint panel, you can adjust the value live and observe the changes instantly. One of the most important things in this version is the newest addition to the powerful Moho's physics toolset, which is the new Wind Dynamics. 
I personally like easily adding life to shots by taking absolute control over the strength, direction and turbulence of the wind. To use Moho's new wind feature, be sure that you are at frame 0. And when you are selecting a bone layer, you can select multiple bones that you want to react to the wind physics. Now, in the bone constraint panel, activate both bone dynamics and wind. A red arrow will appear in your scene indicating in real time the direction and turbulence of the wind. Now you get access to three values at the top direction, strength, turbulence amplitude, and turbulence frequency. The direction and strength are self-explanatory. The direction is a 30-60 degree value that you can adjust to change the direction of the wind and it can also accept negative values. The strength is the value between 0 and 100 with 0 being no wind at all and 100 being the maximum power of the wind. Turbulent amplitude and frequency are related to each other while the amplitude controls the angle and strength of the wind changes in its direction and strength. The frequency is how often those changes or turbulence might happen. Moho offers two versions, a pro version and a debut version. The pro version contains all the advanced tools and features like physics and the new wind dynamics, in addition to smart wrap 3D layers and much more. But if you just need a lighter or stripped down version for a simple animation, debut is gonna be a great choice, but you can always upgrade to the pro version if you want it to cost you only 15% of the pro version. Furthermore, there is academic pricing for students and teachers who want to purchase Moho. You also have the ability to try Moho for 30 days if you want to test it out before making a purchase decision. Another great news and for limited time only, people who have Moho 12 can enjoy a 25% discount if they want to upgrade to Moho 13.5 before the end of May. So if you already have Moho 12, you need to check that out right now. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.